Hi, I'm Phil Grandy of Phil'sGang.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and also my radio show, Phil'sGang.com. So during this presentation, I would really appreciate if you would hit subscribe, like, and share. That'd be very helpful. Okay, so this is Monday. So we're heading towards Christmas. We're continuing to have what I call the big investment bank rally or the Wall Street rally. As I told you last week, they're creating a rally because last year at this time, they had historic amount of money for, uh, for bonuses, a pool of $45 billion. Well, the numbers I'm seeing, and I looked up it over the weekend, is they're gonna, that's gonna be cut anywhere from 22% to 36%. So they're doing everything they can to rally this market. Now, you've got to remember, if you look at symbol TLT on your chart, those are the treasuries, we've done a reversal. The dollar has been, you know, I mean, treasuries, everybody's been buying treasuries, buying treasuries, and buying dollars for safety, right, since January. Here, 11 months later, the market still crashing. They put a little basin in October to begin this rally. But you got to understand what's happening. Everybody's saying, or Powell's saying, that he's a dope. They always do everything wrong. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me thinking about how stupid it is. They're raising rates into inflation. They've been doing that now for how long? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty stupid, isn't it? But this is dumber. So here they are. They're taking now and, and spreading the rumor, the gossip, that inflation is over. Inflation's over. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, pretty much uh, capped out. We peaked. Car prices are dropping and clothing prices are dropping. Everything's dropping. Oil's dropping. Of course they're dropping. Because demand is dropping. Because people are broke. Wages is what causes inflation. And, and you can see that this Friday, last Friday, we had the job reports. Wages went up 18 cents an hour. Are you insane? That's incredible. Wages are still causing inflation. And the dollar, okay, the dollar causes inflation. So, I mean, when you keep on printing and printing and printing, and they're going to keep doing this, printing dollars, that causes inflation. But there's no, 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 inflation's all over. Well, I want you to think about something. Let's stop talking about inflation. That's a given. Why don't we talk about financial instability? That's what we should be focusing on, financial instability. That's why I always tell my members, you've got to learn how to short. Please pay attention to us when we're teaching you how to short. Financial instability, that's the key right now. Powell has really screwed things up. So what happens when there's financial instability? The repo market freezes up. What happened in 2008? When did the crash start 2008? When the repo market froze up. Now that sounds complicated, repo market. All that is, is that the banks have very little cash. I mean, there's a lot of cash going through the system, but there's also about three to four trillion dollars in debt a day going through these banks. And because much of the cash is going through the system, they have to set it aside for bad loans or mandated to do that. They have to give it to the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve puts it in a pile. The Federal Reserve pays them interest. So they don't have a lot of money. So at the end of the day, let's say I'm JP Morgan, and I'm short $10 million. I lend it $10 million more than I had. And it's okay, because I'm, I'm in the repo market. So I go to the, I go down at night and I say, okay, boys, I go to, I'm Goldman Sachs, I'm short $10 million. I say to Morgan Stanley or, hey, would you give me $10 million? And Morgan Stanley says, sure, but I want collateral. And so I hand them my treasuries that are on my balance sheet with a promise that the next morning I'm going to pay them their interest, which is usually the same rate as the Fed rate, about 25 3%. Right now it's about 4%. And the next morning I'm going to re 
purchase the treasuries I gave them for collateral. That's where it comes to the repo market. Just means they're going to repurchase back their treasuries in the morning, pay their debt off. They borrow ten, they borrow ten uh, million dollars for four percent, and then I'm going to repurchase the treasuries I gave uh, for collateral. Now, why is this important? Because banks, as they said, they don't have a lot of liquidity available because a lot of it's going to set aside. So. They need to have good credit. They need to be put on their balance sheet, these treasuries, so that when one bank looks at the other bank, they're going, hey, look, you know, he's got a good amount of treasuries on the balance sheet, so they got good credit, so I'm going to loan to him. In 2008, what happened was they had very little collateral. They had very little treasury, so all of a sudden it froze up, and the banks went loan to each other, and that's when the stock market crashed. Now, let's fast forward in 2000, September 2019, we had the same situation happen. The banks didn't trust each other, okay? They didn't trust their balance sheets. So banks were loaning overnight on September, I forgot the day it was, but 2019, they stopped with the repo. In other words, they went, they went uh, loan to a bank. So we were gonna go into another 2008 crash. Well, they decided, the Federal Reserve, well, we better come in and bail them out. So they printed $750 billion that night and went in and took care of all the banks, took care of everybody, and had all settled down. So now that we are hearing how inflation's peaking, it's almost over, everything's fine again. No, 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 no. From what's been going on, all this raising of rates has created such instability, okay, and the banks are really in trouble. They really are. They don't have a lot of treasuries. So the same thing happened in 2008, the same thing that happened in September 2019 is going to happen. It's going to happen again, okay, and take this market down. But it's not going to happen until, guess what, until they get their bonuses, right? So they're going to keep, so what we're going to do, let's keep, let's keep again doing what we're doing. We're doing very well with our gold. Okay, we're doing good with Boeing, we're doing good with a lot of stocks, and we'll keep uh, capturing this rally, this fake rally. And then uh, five days before Christmas begins the Christmas rally, and we'll capture that too. Now, if everything blows up before that, because we have the skills to short, we'll short. And that's why, listen, if you're not a gang member, why don't you go to philsgang.com, try it. You got a free membership for 10 days. At least during the 10 days, learn how to sell short. Once you learn how to sell short, what a difference. Then you don't care what the Fed does. You could care less, okay? That's where your safety comes in, knowing how to short. Not running around trying to buy uh, GE or buying Coca-Cola. That's not safety. It's selling short. So that's about it. So I'll check in with you again tomorrow. So I would say today they're going to continue to rally. We'll get these spurts. We'll rally, pull back. Then they'll rally it again, then pull back. But each time they're going to go a little bit higher. Rally, pull back. Rally, pull back. Heading towards that 14, um, 1,000, let's see, 415 on SPY. 415 on SPY, okay? All right, that's about it. Have a great trading day, and please join my gang. At least learn how to short, please, and use my color-coded chart. Nothing like their color-coded chart. It tells you when to buy, when to sell, when to run like hell. See you on the charts.